create or return a 201 instead so http 201 and that is used or created by the created at action method so we use created at action if we hover over it it gives the http 200 201 created so if we look at the uh, the properties that it needs it needs the action name so I can say name of and I want to pass the action name of the get by ID because that is creating a single resource and I want to send the location of this resource explicitly through the return type so name of this action method which is get by ID then I want to create a new object because I want to pass this ID property here. So ID is equal to region domain model dot ID. So we are passing the ID back. And finally, after a question mark, I also want to send the values of the converted of the uh, created model. So region domain model that we are sending back to the client. And in here, because we can't send the region domain model back, we have to send the region uh, DTO back. So we will do the mapping again. So map domain model back to DTO. And in here, we will just create a new region DTO because we have that information is equal to new region DTO. And this is coming from the models folder in the DTO folder over here. Now we have to map four properties because we now have the ID created by entity framework. So ID is coming from the region domain model dot ID. Then we have the code is this name is also coming from the domain model dot name. And finally, we have the region image URL coming from this location as well. So when we have that, we now have, or oh, this is ID instead, it should be code. So we have now converted the domain back to a DTO, which we can pass because now we are exiting our API and we want to uh, show information to the client. So now we can use the DTO.ID and the DTO back as well. So with that change, we have our, uh, the action method for post ready and let's test this now. So I will start the application. When we start our API, Swagger is running and now you can see that we have a post method which is also denoted by a different color which is in green. So now we can expand on this and test this functionality. So I will click on the try it out button and as you can see, Swagger gives us a structure of the uh, JSON that the function wants, that the method wants. So we have to fill this information. So let's say we want to create the Wellington region. So I'll pass Wellington region as the name. Let's bring the code as WLG and just anything for the string. So let's say some image Wellington dot JPG, just random information over here. But once I have defined the structure for the, the DTO, I can now click on the execute button and I'll also put a breakpoint to show you what's happening behind the scene. So I'll put a breakpoint over here while it's running. I will click on the execute button and this should take us back to the API where we have our debugging point. So I will press F10 and tell you what's happening here. So we are first converting this DTO and we are getting all the information inside that DTO from Swagger. So now we are converting the DTO to a domain model. We are using the DB context to create a new entry inside the regions table. So the DB context has now executed the changes. So even if I stop the application over here and open SQL Server, I will do a select on the regions table. So execute that. We now have two entries. We have the Wellington region as well, which was just added by us. So that's the information that we just inserted into the regions table. But now when we convert this back from domain model to DTO, 
because we now want to send the result back this is now going to the get action method and with the information so if i press continue now we can see a Two or one response back from the API, and we have the request response body with the newly created region. So you have the ID, code, name, and region image as well. But there's one more important thing with this two or one created return type, which is this location response header. So these are the response headers, but we have the specific location one because the location value is pointing directly to the exact location where you can find this newly created resource. So even if I take this and copy and paste it in the browser, while the API is running, it will give me the exact resource which was created. And that's how 201 response is different from a 200 response. So we are now done with the create method and we have used the http post keyword to create a new region in the next lecture we will go on and uh, perform an update on a resource and we will use the http put keyword